आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री लेट द फर्स्ट नंबर इज एक्स एंड द सेकेंड नंबर इज वाई नाउ मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द कंडीशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट कंडीशन सेज दैट द सम ऑफ द नंबर इज माइनस फोर सो वी विल राइट एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू माइनस फोर से दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर फर्स्ट नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द सेकेंड कंडीशन द डिफरेंस ऑफ द नंबर इज सिक्स सो वी विल राइट x माइनस वाई इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड मार्क दिस एज आवर इक्वेशन टू एज दीज आर द समिल्टेनियस इक्वेशन सो वी कैन सॉल्व दैम बाई आइदर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थ्री मेथड्स द फर्स्ट मेथड इज टू सॉल्व द गिवन इक्वेशन बाय मेट्रिस दैट इज बाय यूजिंग द एनवर्जन मेथड और द क्रेमर रूल The second method is substitution method, and the third one is by using elimination method. Here we will try to use both the second and third method, that is the substitution method and the elimination method combined. We will make use of elimination method. Okay. so by adding equation 1 with 2 here we will cancel y with y because one is positive and the other is negative so this is what we call the elimination method actually we are eliminating y so after doing this we get 2 time x equal to 2 now dividing each side of this equation by 2 we get x is equal to 1 so one of the number is x is equal to 1 now we want to make use of the substitution method so we will put this x in either of the equation 1 or in equation number 2 now using this value of x in either of the above equation 1 or equation 2 to get the value of y this is what we call the substitution method so putting this value in equation say in equation 1 which gives 1 plus y equal to minus 4 now transfer this one from left hand side to the right hand side it gives y equal to minus 4 minus 1 which gives y equal to minus 5 hence the required numbers are x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 5 question number 4 before going into the detailed solution of question number 4 let me discuss how to select numbers so number first one is if the question is regarding about the consecutive integers then they can be selected as x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 comma x plus 3 comma so on etc second if the question is regarding about the consecutive odd integers then they can be selected as 2x plus 1 comma 2x plus 3 comma 2x plus 5 comma and so on third one if the question is regarding about the consecutive even integers then they can be chosen as 2x comma 2x plus 2 comma 2x plus 4 comma and so on now coming to question number 4 it says that the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 81 what are the integers 
since in this question we are asked about the consecutive odd integer so we will select the numbers like 2x plus 1 2x plus 3 2x plus 5 and so we suppose that the required consecutive odd integers are 2x plus 1 comma 2x plus 3 comma 2x plus 5 now according to the given conditions we have as it is given that the sum of the three consecutive integers is equal to 81 so we will add these three numbers and will equate them to 81 First, we want to add the terms involving x. So, it gives 6x. And then next, we want to add the constant. That is 1 plus 3 plus 5 gives 9. Now, the obtained equation is clearly a linear equation in x. That is 6x plus 9 equals to 81. Now, we are familiar with the solution of linear equation. First, we will transfer the cos term involved in the left hand side to the right. That is 9 from left hand side to the right hand side. And we will subtract that 9 from 81, which gives 72. Now, the final step is to clear the coefficient of x. That is, we want to divide this equation by the coefficient of x, that is, by 6. So, dividing each side of this equation by 6, we have 6 upon 6 and to x equals to 72 upon 6. Now, in the left hand side, 6 got cancelled with 6, while in the right hand side, we clear the denominator. So, dividing 72 by 6, which gives 12. Now, to find the required consecutive odd integers, for that purpose, we will replace the value of x in the supposed numbers. That is, we have 2 into 12 plus 1, comma, 2 into 12 plus 3, comma, 2 into 12 plus 5. So, simplifying these, we get 25, comma, 27, comma 29 which are the three consecutive odd integers Now moving toward question number 5, which says that a man is 41 year old and his son is 9 years old. In how many years will the father be 3 times as old as his son? So we let x be the number of years in which the father will be 3 times as old as his son. So after x years, the age of the father will be 41 plus x and that of the son will be 9 plus x. Now utilizing this condition we get 41 plus x is equal to 3 times 9 plus x. Now here we will apply distributive property of multiplication over addition. So this will become 41 plus x equal to 3 multiplied by 9 plus 3 multiplied by x. Now clearly 3 times 9 gives 27. So we have to transfer like quantities of one kind that is x and 3x to one side and 41 and 27 to the other side of the equation. So 41 minus 27 gives 14. 
while 3x minus x gives 2x. Now dividing both sides of this equation by 2 to get the value of x. So we have 14 upon 2 is equal to 2x upon 2. Now in the right hand side 2 got cancelled with 2. And in the left hand side we have 2 ones are 2 to 7 ones are 14. So the value of x is now 7. So after 7 years, the father will be 3 times as old as his son.